Hello everyone, it's time for another amazing charging curve and today we have the Audi SQ6 which should be the same curve as the normal Q6. It's a 800 volt uh, battery system and it charges really well and I charged at Ionity from 8 to 90 percent. Audi says it's 17 minutes from 10 to 80 percent. I didn't achieve that. I Preheated the battery, navigated to the charger. I don't know if it had the perfect temperature, but I got 274 kilowatts, so I think it was pretty good. So I'm going to show you the whole charging session and then we're going to look at the curve and then of course compare it to other cars that also have an 800 volt system. Do you need a driver's logbook for your EV for work and you don't want to write everything down yourself then Tronity is exactly what you need. Tronity connects to your car, a lot of brands are supported and in the app or in a browser you can see all of this data. Where did you drive, how many kilometers, where did you charge, how many kilowatt hours did you charge and then you can specify was this a private trip or for work. And of course you can do this for a whole fleet. If you want to know more there's a link in the description below. And here we go at Ionity starts at 8% and we get right up to 268 and then 270 kilowatt. The peak here was 273 but it goes up again to 276, 277 kilowatt which is amazing. After just 6 minutes we are, uh, 7 minutes about 38% this is so fast. I'm sorry that you cannot see the kilowatt hours really well. And after 10 minutes we've charged 40 kilowatt hours. This is amazing. The voltage is also pretty good. Look at that 724, 25 volt at 60%. We are still above 160 kilowatt at 66%. I cannot speak as fast as this is going. 70%, 135 kilowatt. It slowly goes down and even at 80% we still have above 100 kilowatt. The only thing that we will see above 80% the power goes down significantly fast. Now 80% and now 90 kilowatt, 80 kilowatt, 70 kilowatt, 60. It goes in 5% we went from 100 to 60 kilowatt, in 6% even to 50 and now 45 kilowatt even down to 40. The car doesn't charge very well from around this 88% to 100% you shouldn't do that. But it's also nothing that you do on the road, but amazing. Here we have the curve and as you can see it goes up a bit down and a bit up again. So maybe this is that it wasn't the perfect temperature because in my test here, I mean it goes down really slowly and like I said at 80% still above uh, 80, uh, 100 kilowatt, it's just 81, 82%. But it takes 22 minutes from 10 to 80% and Audi says 17 minutes, 5 minutes longer. I don't know why. Because again 277 kilowatt peak that seems pretty good and goes up to 267 kilowatt right away at 8%. No idea and I plugged in under 10% just to be sure to get a good charging curve. It's still amazing, still if you think uh, like let's say to uh, 80% from uh, 8 to 80 percent, 70, almost 72 kilowatt hours in 23 minutes. Comparison to other car in red in here I have the Audi SQ6. In blue the new Ionic 5, this was the Ionic 5N with the new 84 kilowatt hour battery but the, all the new cars of Kia and uh, uh, Hyundai will have this curve. Um, because it's a bigger battery and a higher peak. And then I have the old curve of the old battery of the Kia EV6 in here. So Ionic 6, uh, um, uh, uh, old Ionic 5 and so on will al also have this, this uh, curve. Um, red, like I said, the Audi. In blue, the new curve of the Koreans. And in yellow, the old curve. And you, as you can see, in the beginning, up to 32-33%, the Audi is better. Then from 33 to 62%, the new Ionic 5 curve is better. The old curve of the, the, the Kia EV6, Ionic 6 and so on is mostly under, except for the ending. Um, uh, but uh, above 80% um, 
than the Audi. But the, the, the new Ionic 5 is then half above, half down. And, and we can see that at the kilowatt hours charge, the Audi Q6 is above the other two. So uh, after 10 minutes, we have 39 kilowatt hours charged. In the new Ionic curve, 37. In the old, 35. So two kilowatt hours steps of all three. But then the range, and here I have different cars, Audi Q6, Ionic 5 with the new curve, Kia EV6 with the uh, old curve, Ionic 6, what did I take, the new curve or the old curve? The old curve. So for the Ionic 6 I have the old curve, um, but r this is range added over time. The Q6 has the highest consumption, Ionic 5 is after that, Kia EV6 is a tiny bit less, and the Ionic 6 is just way better. The those uh, four are all estimated because in my test the battery heating was a tiny bit on um, and a Dionic 6 I did in the winter so this but it was a bit colder so I gave it a bit less consumption and the others uh, also wasn't just the same temperature so this is a bit estimated um, and when I look at this then of course Ionic 6 is on top because it has the lowest consumption and still a great charging curve after that Kia EV6 because it's also good Ionic 5 is even better because uh, Ionic 5 has still less consumption than a Q6. And by the way, I drove a SQ6 which has, has higher consumption, so the Q6 will have a bit lower consumption because the motors are a bit more efficient. And then when I look after 10 minutes, uh, uh, Q6 has 127 kilometers, Ionic 5 132, already 5 kilometers more. Kia EV6 the same, which is interesting because a bit of lower consumption. But Ionic 6, even with the, uh, the, the old curve, has 142. With the new curve, it would be even better. And then after 20 minutes, we have then 10 kilometer difference and two Ionic 6, even 30 kilometers of more range added over time, which is amazing. After 30 minutes, Minutes. It's still six eight kilometers to the Ionic 5 from the Audi, but to the Ionic 6 it's then uh, 34 kilometers. So it's not that much more, but still Ionic 6 is just the best since it has still amazing charging with the 800 volt system and the new, with the new battery even better. Um, and it has low consumption because it's just nice. The good thing about the Q6 is even though it has high consumption, um, it charges so amazingly well that you can still drive fast on the highway. So even at 140, it charges the range in like nothing. You still have enough range, 150, 200 kilometers to get to the next charger and drive fast. And it, like I said, it charges so great uh, that uh, it's still very comparable to a car that doesn't charge with 270 kilowatt and has lower consumption. Of course, then other cars who still have the uh, good consumption and the same charging curve are then better. So the Audi A6 e-tron is then way better for the long distance trip. If you want to follow me on Instagram, Battery Life one and if you want to support the channel, there's a Patreon link in the description below. And here on YouTube, there's also channel membership. And if you want to know what's happening behind the scenes, I have a third YouTube channel behind the battery. But that's it for me. Thank you much for watching. Have a great day and take care. Bye.